Hello YouTube land, it's Debbie from the Canadian Crotchet. Today is Friday the 29th of November. I wasn't going to come back so quickly because I have to come back on Sunday to pick some winners. But I have stuff to show you and if I wait too long then the videos are too long. Um, but excuse the experience, it's cleaning day. Um, I have some friends coming over tonight and I don't know if they're going to stay. But just to be on the safe side, I've been stripping beds. Um, in our house we have a rule that if adults are sleeping over, then the kids have to give up their beds. <laughs> just a rule. They're good with it. Okay. If there's kids staying over, they get blow-ups along with our kids. But the adults get beds. So I've been stripping beds and whatnot. And I figured I'd take a little break and uh, have my coffee in my new mug. My daughter went on a business trip to Calgary and came back with this. And she's she knows me. Um, the great thing is, it's red, it's perfect size, but inside, I'm going to try not to spill it. It's all maple leaves, all the way down to the bottom. She probably got it at the airport, but I don't care, it's, it's great. Anyway, um, let's see, I'm gonna, I've, got, I've got some stuff. I, I have been working, but I cannot show you everything that I've made because they're gifts, so, and the people watch. Um, and speaking of, of watching, I want to... I want to say hello to Karen Pennington. Um, so this is how small the world is. Uh, I mentioned my Aunt Marg and she's on a bowling league. I think, and I'm going to mess this up, I think it's 53 years or maybe 63 years on the same league. That blows me away. Aunt Marg, I'm sorry if I got the date, the, the numbers wrong. But anyway, Karen uh, bowls or used to bowl and she still hangs out with the same people Aunt Marg and that whole crew and she mentioned to Aunt Marg that she watched my channel so hello Karen thank you for watching um, small world <laughs> anyway let's not let's stop babbling um, okay I'm going to show you the two little things that I've made the first one was uh, as you all know my daughter has asked for some hot pads I made another one and I probably will make a couple more before I send her her Christmas box. But this was made with, I can't remember if it's peaches and cream, something like that. But it was a, some co a kitchen cotton that I received from Kim, the swap that I had from Kim, Kim's Crochet and Knit. Yeah, uh, I'll leave Kim's channel down below if you want to check her out. Anyway, um, this was all the one ball could do, so I finished it off in black. But look how modern it looks. Doesn't it look fabulous? I think my daughter's gonna love it. Very modern looking. So I did that, and I'll leave the link. I learned to do this uh, via Art uh, Margaret Olander. I'll leave the link for her video tutorial. Awesome, easy. You just keep going around and around until it turns into a double so or a double thickness square. It's awesome. Really easy, mindless. You can binge anything with that. And then my daughter has also asked for some sweaters for Buster. If you've watched this channel before, Buster's made an appearance a couple of times. We used to call him Pretty Boy because my two dogs are very dark haired and Buster is very blonde. <laughs> so we used to call him, we nicknamed him uh, Pretty Boy. But I drove him home to his mama and he's there now and she has requested some sweaters. I came across Bag o Days, the Steven sweater. Steven is her cat. A very big cat because I had to minimize this just to fit my dog Oscar I used uh, so Oscar and Buster are roughly the same size and I used Oscar as my gauge or my model I'll leave a couple of pictures of Oscar modeling this so I did have to make some alterations so I made it shorter this way because the back end needs to be a little shorter because certain body parts need to be exposed um, and then I extended the top now I've not weaved in any ends because I'm not sure if I'm done yet but um, the pattern is great I like the written pattern if there is a tutorial I will leave it but I like the written pattern it's cheap and well written and uh, yeah it fits Oscar wonderfully so yes I made that and this is using it's a red heart but I don't know what it is uh, some sort of flex in it really bright green and red and pink and orange so it's wonderful it's a great pattern it really really is I just had to make it a little smaller because 
Steven is bigger than my dog. <laughs> anyway, this is great. And I'm gonna make another one, but in an orange reflective yarn. Um, but I'm looking for something, and I'll probably use this as my base. So from here, it'll be done. But I wanted something, because, so my Oscar, he's malleable. So he allows me to do anything, and I can twist, put his arms in here, no problem. But not all dogs like to be mauled like that. So I wanted, uh, like, do the neck and then leave it open down here and then have some sort of strap that goes around the belly. But I, uh, I wanted to do not buttons. I didn't want to do buttons because this will eventually stretch and then the buttons won't, like the button, it'll be too loose. Unless I put a couple of buttons so that it, as it gets looser you can tighten it. But uh, yeah, or, or maybe I'll find something else. But this part will be the same, and then the body will be different. When I get around to that, I'll show you. Anyway, so that's all I can show you that I've done. But I did get some Christmas cards. So I think I mentioned in, in the last video that I have this wall of cupboards, and that's gonna be my Christmas card display. I'm just gonna tape them all onto the cupboards uh, and uh, display my Christmas cards. And if it gets full enough and it looks great, I'll take a picture and show you guys later on in the, in the month. But the first card I got was from Paula. I will not use last name because I didn't get permission, but she knows who she is. What a beautiful, traditional looking card. It's beautiful, I love it. So thank you, Paula. That was very nice of you to think of me. That's gonna go up on the wall. And the next one is from Michelle, and she has a channel. Her name, uh, her channel name is Shell Shell Crochet. She's a local gal, I love her. <laughs> uh, she's done like mostly montage videos, but she did one where you see her and she's a doll. Look at this card. And I wish you could reach it out and feel this card. This is velvet. It is velvet, you just wanna sit and pet this card. <laughs> I love it. I love it. I love it. It reminds me of the old velvet paintings, you know, in the 70s. Oh, I love it so much. This is awesome. And I bet you there won't be any other cards like this. But inside the card, she also sent me a little gift. And the funny thing is, these are simple and easy to do. And I don't do them. I just wait for Michelle to send them to me. <laughs> She made me more scrunchies and these ones are slightly thinner and uh, I think they're going to be even better because my hair is um, is kind of fine, baby fine, so this will be even better. But the good thing is these are holiday ones. They look at the sparkle. I don't know if you can see that. The sparkle. The sparkle. And this one has a halo. And look at this one. Wow. I love it. Look at all that bling. I love it, love it, love it. See, Michelle? Wearing it. Um, yeah, cleaning day. <laughs> anyway, thank you, Michelle. That was so not necessary, but greatly appreciated. Like I said, I just wait for you to send them to me. <laughs> That's awesome. And then I got a card from the lovely Judy at Witch Peace Crafts. She's all the way in Australia. And um, she sent me this wonderful card. Look at this. She's got a channel, and I'm going to leave the link for that. Sorry about the glare. Oh, come on. Look at that. <laughs> You're only going to get a card like that from Australia. Look at that. Is that not adorable? Oh, my God, I love it. Everybody that saw it here thought it was hilarious and fun. Thank you so much. Inside, she also wrote me a beautiful letter, which I will not share with anybody. She is, that letter was so good for my, my psyche. Thank you so much, Judy. But also in there was this kangaroo stitch marker. Oh, hopefully you can see it. Come on. There we go. Look at that. So with stitch markers, what I've started doing is, um, a while ago I showed you guys this backpack that I have and I put all these buttons on it. But I started putting uh, stitch markers on there as well because I don't want to use these because in case I lose it or or whatever. And these have, mm, they're sentimental. They have people attached to them. I don't want to lose them 
or break them. So I've started putting my stitch markers on there as well. I probably have to find a better way of displaying them, but uh, for now they're going on my on my bag. Anyway, thank you, Judy. Uh, that was very very sweet of you. Thank you. Um, and the other card that I got received today is from Sandy at Crochet A. Uh, before I show you the card, I just want to Sandy, if you're watching, I just want to send you my deepest deepest condolences and and and. I don't really have anything to say that would make you feel better. Sandy has lost her dog. Um, yeah, I, I'm going to get teared up because I can't even imagine. Uh, people who don't have dogs or don't think of dogs as part of their family won't understand. But when when your dog is part of your family, like a child, it hurts. It hurts hurts like like no tomorrow and I don't even want to think about it so Sandy I'm thinking about you I, I wish I had something to tell you profound but I don't it it hurts like a bugger maybe time will heal that I don't know um but um yeah it's sad and I, and I truly am sorry that you're going through it Anyway, uh, she got she sent me a card, and I'll look at this card. How appropriate is this? Is this not say Canada? Oh, I love it. And looking at this card, last year I made some um, buffalo check hats, and looking at this card makes me want to make those hats again. I love this card. Thank you. But not only that, she has sent a beautiful angel, and it's sparkly. I don't know if you guys can tell that it's sparkly. Um, and this will go along on the back, uh, on my bag with my buttons and the red angel that I got from Teresa, from Teresa Little Trees Treasures that she made me last year, go right beside her. So a pair of matching angels. Um, thank you, Sandy. It's so sweet and, uh, I'm so glad you thought of me. Thank you. Um, what else? Okay. So you all know that I'm doing two 12 days of Christmas in, in starting December 12th. And uh, one of them is with uh, Crystal from Ricola, a.k.a. Crystal's Crochet and Stuff. That's a mouthful. <laughs> anyway, her 12 days of Christmas, I mean, they're all supposed to be individually wrapped. And it had to come in two parcels because she couldn't find a box big enough. I feel your pain, Crystal. <laughs> um, but in there was a couple of things. First of all, she sent me this uh, wonderful card. Beery or Berry Merry Christmas. Um, how cute is that? But, and I wish I'd found cards like this. Inside this card, I'm not going to show you because she wrote some stuff, is a card scent thing. I'm not sure if that's what, what, what you call it, what the technical term is. It's a smelly thing, and it smells like cinnamon. It smells like, um... Not just cinnamon, it smells like, uh, you know those, what are they called, tamale candies? You know, the Red Hearts. It smells just like Red Hearts. It's awesome. I just opened it a little while ago and the whole dining room smells like this. It's awesome. So I love that. That was in the card. That was awesome. So that's going to go up on the wall too. But um, when I opened up the big box, there was all the wrapped up gifts, but there was two that weren't wrapped. So, Crystal, are these just bonus gifts? <laughs> uh, because I'm going to start using them right away. Uh, it is a number two, though. And these are Washable Wool Blurred Lines by Loops and Threads, Michael's Loops and Threads. The 390 yards, because it's a number two. Um, and this color is... Where is this color? Claret Flame. Look at that that oh my goodness now I've seen this yarn at Michaels but I've not seen this color so my Michaels must be sold out or whatever because if I saw this I would have bought it um, it is a number two though my goodness so I'm thinking something knitted something knitted because I, I find and now I'm not good at knitting but I find that it's easier to knit thin yarn than crochet thin yarn Although I've done both, and I enjoy both, but I think it's just an itty bitty 
bit easier to knit than yarn than to crochet. I could be wrong, I don't know. Anyway, I love this. So I'm hoping this is just a bonus and maybe you accidentally threw it in the box and it's not for me. Too bad, because I'm keeping it. So thank you for that. But in there, she also gave me a birthday gift. So she gave me a card. Come on, focus. And inside the pack that said birthday, she gave me a beautiful rabbit's tail. Well, actually it can't be rabbit's tail because this is too big for a rabbit. Um, palm. And she gave me Juniper Moon Harriet. And this is 100% alpaca. And it's called Dark Harbor. And it is um, hmm, 218 yards. Number three light. Look at that. Oh, it's beautiful. And it is soft. Very soft. And I've had alpaca before, and some are really, really soft, and some are not. This is one of the really, really soft ones. It's very nice. Thank you, Crystal, so much. That was so sweet of you. But I also did get another birthday gift. And, okay. I love this woman so much. So she gave me a card. And so for her birthday, I sent her some <laughs> bear yarn. And what did she do? She took that bear yarn and she dyed it for me as a birthday gift. Look at these colors. Oh my God. Oh my God. I love this so, 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 so much. This is all oh, Laurel, like you're amazing. I love this. Oh, oh, I love this. Smells, smells good too. Um, and then she also did a Knit Picks one and that she dyed. Oh no, by the way, this, this one is wool, cashmere, nylon, 81010, 280 yards. Um, and this is Knit Picks Wool of the Andes Bulky. It's 100% per Peruvian Highland Wool, 137 yards bulky weight. And she dyed this one as well. Look at that. Oh my God. Okay, I've dyed yarn, yarn once. And it was fun. But to be honest with you, I haven't had this urge to do it again. I might, but so far, not so much. I'll leave this stuff to the people who enjoy doing it. I think I just dropped a piece of piece of uh, alpaca in, in here. Who cares? But by far the best. And she keeps complaining she's not a good gift giver. Hello, look at these. By far. And this is going to make me cry too. Um, I have one of Laurel's hats. Now I make Laurel's hats, but this isn't just making a hat. This is the designer making something for you. Hello. I have one of her other hats that I got last year that I bought from her last year and it's a red one and I wear it all the time. But now this one, and I believe this might be the Victrina, which is a favorite. But look at the sparkle, oh my God. And then this is one of her homemade or handmade uh, palms. Oh my God, I love it so much, so much. Like, hello, this is me. This is so me, I love this so much. Thank you so much. And the funny thing is, oh, there we go. Funny thing is, I got this a couple of days ago and it's warmed up outside. Like it's like six degrees, six degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is Fahrenheit, but it's like, darn, I wanna wear this. I wanna wear this so much. But if you don't know the Victrina hat, you need to purchase the pattern and try it because it's really easy. And if you use chunky yarn, it's nice and thick and luscious and look at the sparkle. I love it. Thank you so much, Laurel. That was amazing, amazing birthday gift. So that, 
Now, a um, couple of things. Uh, okay, first of all, I also put in, okay, so I'm gonna do a little bit of a, a complaint. Uh, Crystal from Bag of Day was uh, showing a Mary Maxim opening, I think. And she was talking about this big ball of yarn. I don't even remember what it was, but she's like $8.99. So I go on Mary Maxim website, but here, it's a Canadian site, marymaxim.ca. Whereas you Americans go to marymaxim.com. Mary Maxim is a Canadian company, but I guess they have a location in the States as well. So I'm like, $8.99? Even with the exchange rate, that's still a great deal. So I went on, uh-uh. That same ball of yarn, or whatever, monster ball, is $14.99 Canadian. So I'm going from $8.99 to $14.99. That's a 65, 67% increase. The exchange rate is only about 30%, if that. And I feel like I'm, you know, that's really wrong. So I sent them, I did put in an order for something else and I'll show you what that is. But I sent them an email and I said, why the difference? And the, the response that I got was, uh, well, you know, the shipping and the duties and taxes and it's so much more expensive in Canada. And I'm like, bull. That's my opinion. I replied to her and I said, okay, but I'm paying shipping. Like I'm going to be paying shipping to get it to me, which is ridiculous. And secondly, the exchange rate is only 30%, not 67%, which is ridiculous. And so I was explaining all this and I got the same answer back. Well, you know, it's the shipping and the exchange rate and blah, blah. I'm like, that's bull, in my opinion. It really upset me, but I still put it in order. That's my bad. But anyway, I didn't buy that one because of, on principle, because that's just wrong. So now when I shop at Mary Maxim, I do some quick calculations between marymaxim.ca and marymaxim.com. Not all their products are the same. Uh, so that particular one, that's 67%. Some other ones are actually even to the American prices. So those are the ones I'm gonna buy. I do not feel like I want to get burned. Like that's just wrong on so many levels. I don't even know what to say. I don't want to get started on it. But like I said, not all their yarn is 67% more. It's only certain ones. So now, if I'm going to buy from Mary Maxim, I do a quick comparison to the American one, and then I decide. But what I did do, and this was a good price, uh, which I can't remember. I think it was, oh, hold on. This was, uh, 197 Canadian, so like ridiculously cheap for you Americans. And that is the Twister, Twisted, Twisted Jean Yarn in the brown color. And the colorway is, I don't know. Hmm, doesn't have a color. I don't really know. Brown. Anyway, this is what it looks like. And this is a 200 meters or 218 yards, premium acrylic, and it does feel premium. It's really, really soft, springy, like, like even, um, it's almost like springy. It's, um, I, I haven't, I'm hoping that I have, I have six skeins here. I'm hoping this is enough for a light cardigan. So that's my intention with this. I think it'll turn out really, really nice, but yeah. So I'm quite happy with this. This was very comparable to the American price with that big one. Oh, I'm so mad. I'm oh, so mad. Anyway, so just a little heads up. If you're going to shop at marymaxim.ca, just to open up another window and compare it to the marymaxim.com. Uh, uh, I feel like we're getting hosed on some of the products. My personal opinion, that's it. Now, the other thing I want to talk about, I'm coming back on Sunday and I'm going to draw two people. 
I'm gonna leave both links of the both videos. I have two vi two giveaways running right now. I'm gonna leave both videos down below if you want. If you haven't entered, go back, watch it, enter. And but I'm gonna do another giveaway today, and I'm only gonna leave it open till Sunday because I'm coming back Sunday to pick the winners. The first winner will be from the first video will be a Christmas gift from me. So I can't show you what that is. The second winner will be the Hirschner's bag. Um, go and watch that video if you want to know what's in it. Um, and the third video will be what I'm about to show you now. But unfortunately, I only have a day and a half to enter. Um, I need to simplify everything. I don't want to have multiple giveaways and trying to remember everything. So I'm going to do it all in one, sh uh, one shot. So, Hobby or Hobby, I'm not exactly sure how to pronounce it. H-O-B-B-I-I. Uh, Ordered them from uh, from them before. I love their yarn. They're awesome. Um, the I think I've ordered once before where it took a little longer than I expected to get it shipped, but this didn't take long at all. I think it was like five days, but it's coming from way overseas, so five days is pretty good in my opinion. Anyway, they reached out to me and said that they would like me to review some of the yarn is there anything that i would like to review and i'm like nope try give me anything anything you want i will review it i will give it a try so she says any colors i'm like nope just send me whatever you want and i said to her but be aware that half of what you send me i will be doing a giveaway she sent me 15 balls of yarn 15 balls of tivoli this is what I'm going to, I'm going to show you what I'm going to keep first. These colors. Now, Tivoli, I had no idea because I'd, I'd ordered other things, usually cotton from them, but um, I've never tried their acrylic. This is, it says 100% acrylic, but it should say 100% premium acrylic because it's soft. It feels so good. I've never used it. I'm actually looking forward to it now. By the time I come back on Sunday, my intention is to make something out of these five colors. Um, anyway, so Tivoli is their house brand, uh, or one of their house brands, and it is 50 grams, each skein is 50 grams, 100 meters or 109 yards. It's a number four worsted. <clears throat> In my opinion, I think it's a little light, light four, but it, I, I do believe it's a four. And the hook, size is a five to six millimeter the knitting needle size is five millimeter the recommended knitting needle and let me tell you this stuff is buttery I'm so looking forward to sitting down and working with this I was gonna do it I got this a couple of days ago but I was going to do it work with it right away but I wanted to show you the the yarn first and then I'm gonna sit down by Sunday I should have something with these colors okay but they sent me 15 so, the third winner on Sunday ah, is going to get 10 of these, all these colors. I would tell you what the colors are, but they don't have color names. They have color numbers. 10. I am going to probably take the air out of them and compress them into one of those sealer bags and ship it off to the winner. So, yes, 10, 10. So the third winner is going to get that. Um, now, oh, they also sent me candy, which I'm keeping, and Hobie hand cream, which I haven't tried yet, but I'm keeping it because it's that time of year where everybody's suffering with dryness. So I'm going to keep that. Now, uh, what do you have to do? You have to leave a comment in this video. If you haven't entered the other two give video, giveaway videos, go back, the two links will be down below. Check it out. Uh, what kind of comment? Hmm. All I want <laughs> is, is tell me, are you finished your Christmas shopping or have you not even started? <laughs> I think I'm almost done. Speaking of shipping, I've been, so for the last six, last six months, I've been saving my money because I wanted to send uh, some little Christmas cards and a few little Christmas favors to 
a very long list. Unfortunately, I ran out of money before I got to the bottom of the list. So quite a few of you will get a little something, but um, yeah, I can do the whole list. And yeah, I've been doing a lot of thinking about the com commercial. This camera doesn't like me. I don't know. I'm gonna make this real quick, 10, 12, 15 seconds. I'm done. Uh, yeah, I've been doing a lot of thinking about this uh, commercial commercialization of the holidays. It's exhausting. It really, really is. You know, I think next year I'm going to be scaling back and uh, not doing this because I'm, I'm pulling my hair out, you know. Anyway, I'm sure a lot of you are as well. Anyway, to enter, uh, let me know about your Christmas shopping. Are you full swing? Have you started? Have you Are you done? Or are you one of those people that waits till the last minute like my husband? <laughs> my husband thrives on that last two hours on Christmas Eve. He thrives on that. <laughs> I'll probably end up getting car paraphernalia that he got at the gas station for Christmas. <laughs> no, he's an angel. He's an absolute angel. He, uh, he does spoil me. Anyway, uh, that's it. I hope everyone's having a wonderful week and a wonderful upcoming weekend. And uh, happy Thanksgiving. Uh, I guess it's that was yesterday. <laughs> but happy Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving to all my American friends. I hope you are sitting back and digesting that turkey just fine. Uh, anyway, uh, I hope everyone has a wonderful weekend. And we will talk soon.